So let's switch it up and talk about uh, Darkhawk. Darkhawk, cool. Yeah, yeah Darkhawk, War of Kings, Darkhawk number one just shipped. Uh, Darkhawk's a character that everybody knows from the loners. And, uh, well, from the loners, uh, that's me being uh, a little bit biased. But, no, from continuity in the past. I mean, he was yeah. a West Coast Avenger. He was had his own series for 50 issues. And now he was a new warrior. He's been in all different teams. And he hasn't gotten much of the spotlight over the last 10 years. And we're trying to bring him back full force now. And uh, there's a lot of questions about his origin and his history that were never resolved, even from the Danny Finger Ross series back in the day. We're trying to address that, give some answers to the armor. And, uh, you know, he's going to be playing a big role in War of Kings that Dan and uh, Dan Abner and Andy Lanning are writing. So they just gave me the opportunity to take two issues and kind of take his place, tell, tell the story of his last few days on Earth, his relationship with the loners, his relationship with the family, and create the impetus that finally gets him up into space to be a part of the War of the Kings. Yeah, the, the loners series was a lot of fun. Really cool. Uh, really liked uh, kind of like struggling with the whole powers thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, very awesome. The superhero really self-help group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really, I felt like, uh, you know, dealt with the ramifications of being a superhero and what if you make a mistake and stuff like that. Yeah. It's a really cool aspect. So you're saying that's going to kind of pick up where that left off? Yeah, you know, when Brian Vaughn introduced uh, the loners, which was Excelsior yeah. back in the day and Runaways, it was the superhero self-help group and they were trying to stay out of costume. Yeah. And it's, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, but... If you don't use those powers, what responsibility do you still have to the public? And that's kind of the question that we always struggled with and that the loners are struggling with. And what we find now is they're back on the East Coast and they have kind of a different mandate after the secret invasion because they have a responsibility now given the kind of everything that's happening in the Marvel Universe in, in Dark Reign with Norman Osborn taking over. And they have the powers, they have to do something about it. So we're addressing that briefly in Darkhawk and the War of Kings Darkhawk specials and what he is, you know, what his role is playing, balancing between Project Pegasus and the loners, and then, you know, where it's going to take his relationship once he gets drafted, so to speak, for the War of Kings. Oh, wow, man. Well, we can't wait. Thank you so much no, thank you. for talking with us. No, it was anytime. a pleasure. Cool. And, uh, uh, thanks for talking. I hope you all yeah. keep reading. Keep it here, News Around for more from the New York Comic Con.